okay what's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel um the setup might be kind of janky today i don't know i think it's cute but i'm in my car and i just decided to film a little like you know life update anything girls talk talk about just talking just talking doing what i do best um i got like two tacos in here i'm in the parking lot at mama's now, why did they give me this hot sauce? And then I got a little margarita here. So we just gonna sip and talk, sip and talk. But I just feel like I have to give y'all a life update because I did disappear. I did disappear for a little while and a bunch of, a bunch of my followers were like, where'd you go? Like, what was going on? Um, I had a lot of life changes happen in like the span of like a couple months. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna talk about them. Um, I really disappeared because I got into a car accident. I have a new car now. Um, I don't know if y'all can like recognize that it's not really the same background as it usually is. I don't have a sunroof oh, anymore. Yeah. Um, He fucking that shit up. <laughs> mm, mm. I'd really rather be by myself. It's really a habit that I developed when I was in high school, and then there was a bunch of stuff going on in high school. And, you know, got to told people drama, just all that stuff, and it just made me want to separate myself. And that's what, like, drama does to me now. Like, I, if I realize a situation just becoming too much or it's too awkward, it's too weird, I was just separate myself. I real deal separate myself. It's just because, like, I don't know. I've just learned that, that situations like that stress me the fuck out. Like, they make me think, overthink and stuff like that. I'm a bad overthinker. So, situations like that, I have to leave. And then with everything going on in my life at the time... It was just multiple things other than that. I just was like, you know what? Some stuff is small compared to, you know, a bigger picture of everything going on. And I'd rather just get rid of the small stuff and oh, no, and deal with that later. Then be trying to fix the small and fix the big at the same time. Now, honey, I can't do it. I wouldn't want anybody else to do it. So I just left situations alone. Um... They put a tail in there. But other than that, I'm going to show y'all the new car. I'm going to do like a whole little 360. I haven't really done anything to it like car-wise, like girl car-wise, you know. I'm supposed to be getting my windows tinted. I'm supposed to be making my rims black. Um, So like it's going to be black on black. I have a black car now, no blue car. It was really dumb on why I got a black car. And then I found out it was really dumb reason. Like, you're not supposed to get black cars. It's not that you're not supposed to get them. <laughs> but it's just like, I got a black car because I thought it would be easier to clean. And as I was purchasing the black car, my dad kind of told me, no. 
it's not like that it's actually harder to clean and i instantly felt dumb because the whole reason why i gotta buy cars because i'm like oh so sometimes if i don't go without a car wash you know it'll be fine i lied to myself straight up lied to myself um but yeah if you've never been to mama's i highly suggest you go to mama's i got my texas margarita mango mm. but other than that life has been you know i always just you know even when life is not going where i want it to go i always just say life is good because it could be way worse you know what i'm saying and it's this video by tabitha oh my gosh i might link the tiktok in the description but go watch it and when i was like going through stuff this is like the main video i watched because you know when you're in the moment and stuff is going on and it's a lot going on it's a lot for you to handle you kind of feel like that's it like oh my gosh like this is my circumstances forever but it's not it's not and you you can't you can't get like that about you know little stuff like stuff that's gonna eventually work itself out you just have to keep praying on it and it'll eventually work itself out but other than that i'm back full-fledged i did move and when my room is done at the new house at the new place i am gonna give y'all like a room tour type vibe my room's not done i still have to build my bed and then it's one more thing that i want in my room and then I have to build my desk but other than that i am gonna give y'all a room tour because i didn't move i don't stay in westmark anymore i can find it i think i've always told y'all that i lived in westmark but i don't live in westmark anymore i literally hated that building um i give that a fucking three out of ten don't live in westmark okay i told people that in real life don't live in westmark okay new car new crib new honey new new so new new people in my life new friends new new i can just say i did a whole life 360 in the matter of a couple months crazy i know but um i'm taking y'all along with the on the journey with me um i'm gonna be real it might be a little frustrating it might be a little sad it might be a little you know like hey but i'm gonna take y'all with me i'm gonna get more active on here because i did take a break and i was being kind of consistent and then i took this large break a month break and i'm gonna be back on my p's and q's because i love y'all y'all are my besties we're about to hit six thousand subscribers and i think by the time i post this video i should have six thousand subscribers so thank y'all so much for six thousand it's been a long journey and i know y'all have dealt with me being mad inconsistent mad just all over the place i really want to do perfect i really want to perfect my craft we're about to have a new intro a new outro a new everything going into this new season of just my life period okay so now that i've given y'all a that type of update we're gonna get right into this like girl talk type of vibe okay so i got three amazing topics for my followers i went and asked them what they wanted me to talk about and i got self-love i love the combo on self-love because you know self-love is it we got making friends why the hell did they got all this cheese outside oh that's my fault because <laughs> i poured the cheese into the bag <laughs> um we got self-love we got making some friends outside of school and that is something that is something that I experienced in my own like school school and meeting like making friends outside of school and having friends outside of school because I really didn't have any in school. And then y'all know the the same old same old niggas. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into my thoughts on self-love. I always talk about self-love and basically how I had to find mine and it was really because i had to just take a break from everybody and i really had to be like alone like and it really developed in high school i really did i really stepped into high school with like little to none confidence little to none like you know thinking that i was you know a, a, you know just self-love period thinking i was the best thinking i was smart thinking i was anything i didn't really know like i really didn't have that 
in me and it was after my first boyfriend and then I kind of got like kind of exiled from the high school community if you shall say I went to North Springs Charter High School absolutely hated it boo 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 you whore hated that school okay um it wasn't even that I hated the school I hated the damn people inside the school and if you watch this video and we just go to high school together you already knew I barely talked to people you can drop a comment right now and tell them the damn truth. I barely talk to people because I hated everybody in that building. Um, but I digress. <laughs> I digress. Um, basically, um, I had to be alone. And once I was alone, I just figured out I was my own damn best friend. Like, literally, I'm my own best friend. And it felt so good to just like, I don't need anybody. I don't I don't need somebody to tell me something that I already know you kind of step into yourself you get what I'm saying you kind of step into your own wave of confidence your own wave of just feeling like that bitch even on your worst days and you find ways to just cheer yourself up so your happiness is never attached to somebody else and I feel like this is not a consistent lesson where you just learn it and like oh okay I learned that lesson like I learned that lesson I don't ever have to relearn it no self-love is something that you you have to reteach yourself and re redo and re keep bringing into your life because sometimes you do forget I got into another relationship a three-year relationship and I forgot I put all my happiness I put all my like you know everything like into this relationship like because I thought I was gonna end up with this person and every time I lost myself every time he would cheat on me I'd be like well what can I do better like what's wrong with me it's nothing wrong with me he was just trifling no offense I have nothing against that boy I have nothing against that boy but that didn't have nothing to do with me every time he would cheat I would ask him like what can I do better I would do it better I would change it he would come back and cheat on me again and he find another reason on why I wasn't you know enough you know that's why I have this tattoo I don't know if y'all can see it but this tattoo uh I would say this arm is dedicated to that like relationship part of my life but it, it it is this is a broken heart um it's a broken heart with a woman and a man on each side and then it says I am enough on my like I don't even know what body part this is but I want to say forearm and I hope I'm right but that is this tattoo and I just wanted to remind myself after not feeling like I was enough that I am a damn enough like and that's a constant thing that you just have to keep reiterating to yourself and redoing because sometimes when you do fuck up and you lose yourself you do go back to feeling like that that's normal like don't think because okay I lose myself just a little bit that oh I'm back where I started no you're not back at square one but self-love and just just believing in yourself and having a connection with yourself before you have a connection with anybody else is something that you just really really have to reteach yourself and it is something now that I I I developed it again and I had to go through a whole nother process of just loving myself and knowing that like everything that man used to try to put in my head everything that he used to try to it was nothing wrong with me it was really nothing wrong with me he did all the cheating he did all of that but you know how niggas get I don't even want to get on the topic of niggas right now that's the last topic because these niggas ain't nothing um but yeah self-love is something you have to reteach yourself and I try like now I honestly think I'm ready for another relationship just because I've taught myself to not lose myself in a relationship not to become so just engulfed in somebody I don't even know if I use that engulfed right hmm what word can I use hmm just so I want to just so you know, you know into somebody that you just lose yourself you can't do that you can't do that and I know sometimes you you're trying to fit into what a man wants and what his what a, a, what guys deem beautiful once you separate from a guy and once you separate like your love from anybody else's love you'll be all right you'll literally be all right self-love comes with just taking time for yourself I know I always recommend you can go a few videos back in my last girl talk I'll link that um, below and I'll link it in like if you watch the end of this video it'll come up but I basically just talked about you you have to take time alone take yourself on a date I'm never waiting for a man to take me anywhere even even in the relationship I I, I am in now I'm gonna 
okay you're not jumping to i'ma go <laughs> my friends don't want to go i'ma go because sometimes you do have to take those times alone so just be with yourself be with yourself i promise you once you develop that you're your own best friend you really locked in with yourself like you're not gonna need a soul if it all games down down to it you wouldn't need nobody but the ones that birthed you let's be real you won't need nobody but the ones that birthed you honey um the second we can move right along to the second topic because i'll link another video where i really really got went into depth about self-love and stuff like that right there um making this also ties into self-love also ties into the next topic of making friends oh my gosh y'all look at this it's not a burrito taco it's not a burrito taco i'm so sorry they don't have burrito tacos but the closest thing they have to a burrito taco is barbacoa so if you ever go to uh, Mama's, ask for a barbacoa taco. You can add cheese and stuff, but ask for a barbacoa taco. Mm. Mm -hmm. But but this also ties into self love and just being there for yourself because i'm gonna be real nobody can come into your life and be a positive influence until you care about yourself until you care about yourself you're just gonna keep letting people that are, that are bullshit into your life i'm gonna be real that's just a real of the circumstances until you love yourself you think of yourself highly you you become in love with you you're gonna keep letting bullshit people coming in and out of your life i'm speaking from experience you're gonna keep letting people in and out in and out in and out oh but they care no so that ties into making friends in the company that you keep once you care about yourself your friends your friend group and the, the people the company that you keep are is naturally just gonna fall right into place it's naturally just gonna fall right into place so i would say my advice ties right into self-love love yourself and the people you surround yourself with will know like okay angel or whoever whatever your name is put your name blank that person thinks highly of themselves so let me regard them as such that's friends that's boyfriends that's that's significant others that's girlfriends that's anything in your life that's even your damn parents if we're being real you love yourself the people around you are gonna are going to tie into that like oh okay she loves herself she 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 he loves himself is there any dudes watching this he loves himself she loves himself um so shoot let me regard them as such i know they're not gonna play with me and if i want to be in this person's life i can't play either i gotta hold them to the standard that they hold themselves it's not, everybody's gonna hold you to the standard that you hold yourself i'm being 100 percent real so if you hold yourself to a whack-ass standard when i held myself to a whack-ass standard that's when people was treating me whack as hell okay and that's just what making friends make sure everybody around you you my mom always told me you should never be the smartest person in your friend group and that stands you should never be the smartest person that you know that's even with the smartest person that you know they don't need to surround themselves with people that are just they need to have this person smarter than themselves it, the cycle continues the cycle continues but keep around people that push you keep around people that 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 love you unconditionally without any terms and conditions all of these terms and conditions on how people how friends can love each other that's what blow me you can't have terms and conditions period have friends that are that understand have friends that care about your well-being you know have friends that respect you and that's all i gotta say on that situation and the last topic, I don't know if I'm speeding past this video too fast for y'all or talking too fast, but let me know if y'all want separate videos on any of these topics. You can comment down below, comment anything that you want to see from me. But the last topic is niggas. I don't have too much to say on niggas because they don't even deserve a segment in this damn video. They, they really don't. They're nothing. Don't, like I said before, don't tie yourself into a man relationships are cool and dandy but make sure he's treating you right honey 
all of that oh da 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 like i said before my ex used to try to blame me for his indiscretions don't do it don't allow it can i drink this right quick it's juice in this i'm trying to like let y'all see it but it's juice in here and it's really good don't tie yourself into a man you know make sure he cares about you it's not too much i can say on niggas because niggas just niggas they're nothing and I don't want to say there are nothing, but the way that love works and the way that relationship works in this generation is just nothing. Everybody ain't shit. Okay? Male, female, whatever you identify, they, them, all of them ain't shit. Okay? All of them. But you have to, before you commit, you have to make sure the person's willing to be shit for you. And care about your well-being and step aside outside of themselves and their feelings and say okay i might be scared i might be scared to fall for this person but i don't even want to do this person like that i want to love this person properly and i would just say ladies males they them who have ever watching this step into that think about that because you do deserve the absolute best out of a partner and i know having a shitty partner i know how that feels and I know how it feels to be going 80-20 with somebody. Not 50-50 like you're supposed to. So don't lose yourself. And that is all I have to say on that topic, honey. Don't lose yourself. Again, I talked about this in the last girl talk. So, boom. The next thing I might do is like advice, an advice column. Because I always get younger girls DMing me. Um, um, asking to give them advice and stuff. So I might ask y'all to submit stuff. Let me know if y'all would like that as a video. But um, thank y'all for taking y'all time to watch this. I love you guys. Thanks for letting me update you on my life. More videos to come. Video week. A video a week for sure. Vlogs, all of that. Um, I have somebody to prank now. So maybe I'll prank them. But I love you guys. You guys are my besties as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.